blacksmithing is really, it's, it's two things. It's an anvil and a hammer. It all starts in your mind. When I'm working on a new project, I have to see what it is in my mind first. If I don't have a clear vision, I will do nothing in here but make a mess. And so I'll spend a lot of time thinking about a project, how I'm going to get to that end product, the steps. It's almost like a very zen-like experience in here that as I move from moving metal out to reaching for my hammer to getting whatever I'm getting next, it's very methodical, step by step, not rushing. It's a very calm space for me. Boy, I can spend a whole day in here and wonder where the time went. I find that the foundation that I built in photography has really helped me as a blacksmith. When you're developing a film, you're waiting around for the, the developer to do its job. When I'm in the shop here and I got a piece of steel in the forge, I'm waiting for that steel to come up to temperature so that I can begin to manipulate the metal. It's nice when people receive my work, I might send them a drawing or they may have seen a picture of it, but I love the response when I hand them a coat rack, for example, and they see it for real for the first time. The, the wow factor, the, it kind of like, whoa, this is better than the picture. When I finish a piece, there's a lot of time, energy, and effort that's gone into it. And for me, one of the most satisfying things is the things that I make holding them in my hand. I like to say that the, the stuff that I create is basically art that you can use every day. Oh, that's good coffee.